Okay, we're back at Pokemon Unite ranked. So, I may show the Gengar Halloween event crap, but... Wow, this is laggy. <laughs> so we have a Greedon locked in. Gengar was buffed as of this patch to where he has, like, spell map and a... I don't really want to take him into lane at the moment. So let's play something I normally don't. Like, I'm trying to think, would Machamp have been a good fit here? It would offer us some extra CC. Always be helpful for locking down an Absol. So I think for our win condition here, we have to get ahead, preferably not getting blown up by an Absol in the process. I think Wiggly or Jigglypuff has too many points for that strat to work. Absolutely. So, just a reminder, this is ranked, it's just... I wasn't even looking at the enemy team to see if there are any names I recognize.
Yeah, that was a pretty big throw on my team. You can see the green and the Pikachu are off on the top lane while the enemy team's actually pushing objectives. That's not really a winning strategy from our team here. The one upside is that it is going to unlock more stuff for us to farm as we go. barrier. That's literally the only thing that saved him there. Still, we took another one of their goals. That's going to allow us to just push mid if we can get the Zapdos. But once again, Pikachu is off in the corner doing his own thing, which is it's a, probably the biggest losing strategy in the game. Green has going for him is that he did secure one fight for us. So, yeah, I think the rat may have cost us the game here. Nope. Okay, so I need to squeak by. They need to stop me. So they actually gave you a time on what's Fire. left on what the Zapdos. Instead of having just look here. What a goal. What a goal. So yeah, we could probably just stay and fight.
So yeah, the Pikachu wasn't very helpful here. Good, I just wanted to make sure I did better than him. I don't care that the bird did better than me. So you can see 3-2, I even outscored him. Every single parameter I could find, I beat him in. So yeah, I think that actually was all my daily stuff done. <laughs> so let's take a quick peek. So yeah, I have all these done. One ranked. Because of the Gengar Halloween thing. I have that one. Okay, so I need one more game to unlock everything. I need to remember to do the gather here thing. So let's hop over to that. Okay, I'm going to try for one more ranked game tonight. I don't know who I'm going to play as just yet. Okay, I guess we'll actually get to Jungle Gengar. So, when do I get my first move? Is it 5? Yeah. So it's not until 7 when I really hit my spike. Oh crud, I don't want this. I'm not getting it off in time. Damn it. The one upside is Gengar has been buffed, so at level 5 he will start to... He gets innate spell map. What I mean is he will heal whenever he does special damage. So I'm trying to remember when I get my ult versus when Talonflame gets his. this so he does a stupid move before I get there. Now, I don't know if the Will-O-Wisp burn actually cuts into attack power like it would in any of the modern games. Now that I think about was Will-O-Wisp even... I think that came out in Gold Silver first. So right now I'm just trying to rush to 7. So keep in mind I'm not getting anything out of the special attack specs because I haven't dunked yet. <laughs>
So I'm just waiting for my cooldowns. Okay. Oh, I wanted to get one more Duncan. So I was trying to hex through, but yeah, we can't do this. There's three of them here, and my team's backing off. Shame and then make my return with a buff. This is the execute one, which is pretty nasty to combo with Hex. Blah, I missed. He may not know that though. So I'm starting to get some mileage out of it now. So I can't do anything at the moment. Yeah, I'm just gonna go take the Rotom. Uh, I didn't even notice that their one goal would be destroyed. As long as we don't choke at Zapdos, we have this. <laughs> we have to actually walk the Zapdos into their base. <laughs> uh, 
it's not here. Yeah, I got knocked all the way back there. So right here we threw kind of hard. I thought it actually slipped by, but clearly not. I'm up. That all ran out. <laughs> the final stretch! You're on fire! Pikachu doesn't pick a fight. Looks like Pikachu picked a fight. What a goal! is if this will offset the crappy game I had before this one. But I did want to get a Jungle Gengar game, so I may do one more. I don't know. Let's see. I got MVP because I had 10 kills. I didn't get a lot of assists because if I jumped on someone, I either stuck there until they died or they got away. So yeah, I'm going to cash out the rest of this stuff and I'll think about doing another one. said and done, I am up to 2,800. Getting there. Okay, final game of the night. So, let's see. Kind of lean towards my champ. And then again, we do have an all-rounder. Do we not have a jungle again? like we're splitting with the squirrel. It would be best if we actually swapped, like one of us goes top and one of the tops come to bottom. The one reason why I say that is we're going to be a double melee lane, which can be very tricky. <laughs> the good news is my Razor Claw is up to 14, so I have like 0.1% more crit. I think I might trade in some pumpkins after this. I'm not going to open the box until the very end, because... I'm kind of curious what my overall haul will be. Ready? I really... Go! I don't know. <laughs> so every time he collects one of his berries, that... 
one of those diamonds will get filled in. Damn it! Like, what the hell is the strategy, man? I keep seeing teammates do it again and again and again, and all it does is dig a really deep hole. Like, I could have survived if I used submission before the Electro Web connected, I think, but still, this lane is screwed. Congrats, you got six points! Now, I'm actually gonna watch them score because my teammate is a dumbass. Hmm, was that worth it for you? It's a shield if he gets all of them, in case you're wondering. Good news is top's winning. I don't know if that was enough to save his life. Better than I could have hoped for, to be perfectly honest. With four of them down bot, and I got to set back the guy who needs the EXP the most. And okay, the team actually is coming down, so that could have really been worth it. Now I do not have my ult. None of them do either. Got it. <laughs> okay, this is weird. Now I know because of the belch thing, the squirrel is actually really good at securing objectives. So right here, I'm just going to be a little greedy and poke around their jungle. I really don't mind if he takes some of these, because my overall goal is more to deny them than... Good news is I think he's bulky enough to where he doesn't suicide easily anymore. As I say that, three people jump on top of him. All that for six points. Well, on the flip side, we did cause a big enough diversion, so that happened. So 
we got two of them, I think. Nope, we got the hat trick. Didn't require my ult or anything. Two, one! 